Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back. I have been on vacation. I actually got back last Friday and today is what, Tuesday. Um, but I came back sick, so um, I've been coughing and hacking and it just hasn't been conducive to making a video. So <clears throat> I feel a little bit better today. So welcome back for some Operation Christmas Child shoebox inspiration. I have a shoebox that I want to share with you, packed for a two to four year old girl. And you wouldn't know it from the wrapping paper, but the theme is Just Ducky. I didn't have any wrapping paper that had ducks or anything like it on it, so I went for something summery and that was the butterflies. I decorated the inside of the lid, as I usually do with some free clip art. This time I just hand wrote across the top, you are loved. And when she opens her box, this is what she'll see. A happy yellow color, a lot of it. Let's start with her plush, which is just bulging out of here. Um, he was quite compressed with the lid down and he's um, breathing easier now that he's out, but he's just the most adorable little duck, and I got him at Goodwill for 50 cents about two years ago. I left all the tags on just so you could see that he was new with tags, but I will likely clip them off, and he is just the cutest. She's got a little ducky building block set. This is the Lego Duplo size for ages one and a half and up. And it's uh, blocks to build several different things, but <laughs> looks like different renditions of a duck. So these are the things they can build with. There's only six, six blocks in here. And I picked these up at CVS after Easter uh, clearance. I paid only 60 cents for these, I believe. And I got quite a few of them. So that was a good buy. She's got a uh, ball. This is, again, one of those Franklin tea balls that I got for 39 cents uh, at Walgreens after their summer clearance last year. And then she's got, I gave her this cute little watering can and I filled it up. This watering can came from the Dollar Tree. And when we get down to the bottom of the box, you'll see why I gave her a watering can, besides the fact that it's yellow and orange, like a duck. But inside, let me go ahead and empty all of it out. Let's see, inside she's got three little duckies, a little ducky family. They're water squirters. Well, yeah, I guess they are. Yeah, they're water squirters, but uh, she can play with them even without water. And those came from the Dollar Tree in a set. Um, she's got a couple of erasers. Um, one is a little duck. I, I left it in the plastic because I'm noticing as when I take them out of the plastic, these erasers get dirty fast. So I'm leaving them in the plastic. This one's a little turtle carrying a baby turtle on his back. And she's got some accessories. I gave her a necklace and bracelet set that I got from Shein for 80 cents. And um, I will try and leave the links for anything from Amazon or Shein um, down below in the description if they're still available at the time of this um, filming. I included a little ring from Tamara. So these were from Amazon, uh, sent by Tamara Shields. And when I say these, there were quite a few of them. This one happens to be a little yellow sun. And she's got a pair of sun-shaped earrings that I put on a little bunny um, foam sticker. And 
it? I'm not sure where those come, came. Probably from Dollar General on a card of earrings. Yeah, I think that's where those came from. Then in another organza bag, these are the four by six organza bags that Annabeth sent. I tucked away some hair accessories. Um, these go with her outfit, which I'll pull, pull out shortly. Uh, this little headband came from Dollar Tree. The bows came from Amazon in a large assortment of um, assorted colors. The goody hair elastics are from Angie. And so are these pink barrettes from Angie. She sent an assortment of different barrettes. These butterfly barrettes are from Shein.com, as are these barrettes with Disney princesses on them are from Shein. And this bow, hair bow, clip barrette was from Walmart after Easter clearance. And all those go with her outfit. She's got a couple of pairs of socks in here, black with lime green and black with coral. And a couple of pairs of underwear. I think that's the last thing that's in her little watering can. Um, and these were both from Walmart at some point in time. They're, they're different styles. So she's got two pairs of underwear. And then it's just a little watering can for her to play with and pretend that she's watering her plants. Here is her little outfit or part of it. This was from Walmart. It's Garanimals and it's a little skort. It has a little pair of shorts beneath attached and it has little tears and hearts. Very cute. This is a size 4T for the skirt. And this is why I chose these socks to match. And then her little shirt is also from Walmart clearance. And I think I got these last year at some, some time. And this uh, top is a 5T. It says sunshine makes me happy it has a little faux tie at the front and it's sleeveless and has the same colors as in her skirt then i gave her a little sun hat this is um one of those sun smart hats with a upf 50 in them and i, I paid a dollar nine for this on clearance after summer last year at Walgreens. And that has the purple to match her, the purple in her shirt. I also gave her this cute hair bow. It's quite large, but I thought it was very cute. And uh, a lot of my boxes go to Africa where the girls wear their hair very closely cropped. So I thought this would be really adorable on a little girl's head. And it has many of the colors that are in her outfit. And I got this after Easter at Walmart for $1.50. Um, I don't think it was quite, it wasn't 90% off yet, but they only had two and I bought two. This one has a little chick on it, but we're gonna pretend it's a duck <laughs> for this shoe box. To round out her outfit, she's got a pair of sunglasses in this cute duck sunglass case that I got from the Dollar Tree. I love these. And her glasses are white and red. And I think I got these at Walmart, maybe, probably. And I'm sure I didn't pay more than a dollar because I rarely do for sunglasses. I always like to put a musical instrument or noisemaker of some sort in each box. And this duck whistle was just perfect for this one, 
thank you, Kit Nicole. She sent, um, for Easter, she sent me a little care package of all the things that I've always commented on in her videos that I like. Kit Nicole has her own uh, YouTube channel. She's out of Canada. And um, if you haven't watched her channel, you should. She has always has some great ideas and information on her, on her channel as well. She's got a little car, one of these cute little puzzle cars from Amazon. Um, this was sent for my shoe boxes from Denise L. Thanks so much, Denise, for these. Amazon had a really good price on them at uh, one point in time. I don't know what they are now, but um, so these were on my wish, wish list and Denise picked up a six pack and sent um, the pack of assorted cars. They, uh, when I say puzzle cars, the little wooden figure comes out, it's painted on both sides and top comes off, this piece comes, so it all comes apart and can be put back together. So I think a little girl will have a lot of fun with that. She's got this cute little ducky wash mitt. This was from the Dollar Tree. I think it's so cute and perfect for this shoe box. She's got a sweet little board book. This is one of those touch and feel pretty books. It's got a duck on the front. And inside we have just simple photographs and words of the items for recognition. And this is why I gave her the little watering can. This little girl's watering her plant. Little kids this age love to point to, to things that they recognize and tell you what they are. Even in their own language, they don't have to be able to read these words. So she's got that little book. Then she's got school supplies for when she starts school. Um, this has the standard, uh, for toddlers I usually fit in six pencils, a couple of play uh, rulers. They're just shaped animals. A pair of scissors. The scissors were sent by Tamara. And she's got a rainbow eraser from last year, Walmart back to school. And I, I, she's also got a rainbow colored pencil in there in a little yellow mesh pencil pouch from Amazon, um, contributed by Angie. So she's got, let's start putting these right here. She's also got a half composition book. Uh, these are from Walmart. They come in a pack of 10 for $4.96 or something like that. And um, they've just now got them back in stock for back to school. This one was from last year. She has some Hugaboo bandages sent by Joan. These are the cutest bandages and these are also from Amazon. She's got a little yellow comb. These are also from Amazon. They come in a package of 48, I believe, in assorted colors. I love the uh, bright colors and the quality of these combs. And these were sent by a viewer as well. She's got an enclosed pencil sharpener that I did not have inside the case there. She's got a couple of these tippies, roly-poly toys. They're like little weighted roly-poly toys. And I picked these up at the Dollar Tree when they had gotten them in. It's a name brand toy. And of course, this is Donald and Daisy Duck. I gave her one of these um, novelty pens. I don't always give pens to the toddlers. Um, you know, kids, kids don't start using pens until they're much older. But um, this one was a duck. So I could not put it in here. So she's got a little novelty pen. 
Then she's got a coloring book, giant color by number, and this came from Dollar General for, I think I paid 10 cents for this, 10 cents, 30 cents, something like that. And um, it does have ducks in it, There's a duck. <laughs> got a duck in it but this is a cute one if you ever see this one at Dollar General it has a, a lot of cute and simple pictures in it and then in the front I tucked some more stickers she's got some owls flowers and butterflies some more owls flowers flowers and butterflies and a few sheets of different animals there's a couple of ducks on here somewhere. Oh, there's a duck and there's a duck. I also gave her a little doodle pad, booklet of plain paper, so she can just color, draw, doodle, put her stickers on there. She's got an eight pack of jumbo crayons. These um, are that Pelican brand from Amazon. They're, uh, they're a German crayon and um, Joan picked these up off of my wish list for the shoe boxes that we're packing this year. So she's got crayons. And the last thing in her shoe box is this cute little duck tote that stuffs into itself. It's just a little tote bag that opens up into a decent size. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, so she's got a little tote bag to tote haul all her items home or store them or maybe take them to school when she starts school. Oh, so that wasn't quite the last thing. She's also got a toothbrush. And I chose the orange and yellow one because it looks like a duck. <laughs> and the cap is on it is orange and that was sent by Denise L. And the little cello bags were contributed by Joan. So that is just ducky for a two to four year old little girl. Packing this one made me happy. It's a nice bright yellow color and um, it was a lot of fun to pack. I thought it came out really cute and I, I can't wait for a little girl to receive this one. I hope it made you happy too. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing and hitting that bell button so you'll be notified of my future uploads. If you're unfamiliar with Operation Christmas Child and you'd like to know more, I always leave a link in the description box. Thanks for watching, you guys. I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.